Yeah. Sure, you'd well, like to hear at least one officer guy. What is that saying? They said payback is up. <laughs> so, yeah, I kind of, I kind of had a feeling that might go this way this year. Although I, I still don't think it's fair because he got the first four, <laughs> whereas we only got the first three. So, as usual, Gus worked his way into getting a little bit more out of the deal. Well, good. That means that they should, they should, they should. Nobody should score points on us, right? <laughs> Well, you know, we've been in the in the classroom with them, so it's good to be around them. And you've seen them out here working out, and they've looked good. But there's no there's no substitute for actually getting a chance to spend some time with them on the field. And it was uh, it was good. You know, can't wait till we a couple more weeks and we get to the OTAs and really get to do some stuff. It's been a pretty big jump, especially for those rookies when they go into the, the, their first full off season with with the team. You know, the fact that you get Mike now. And well, I mean, you know, last year was just kind of a um, a different year for Mike, just the way everything sure. went. So uh, I think that it's it's obviously awesome to have him here and be able to. Um, he does have from the from the understanding of the offense, from having been around it. But now to be able to physically do that, you you'd like to think that he can play faster and things will be a little bit easier for him. So well, we're excited about it. He's looked really good in in the little bit that we've seen of him. He's a good football player. That was really a, a tremendous get by our guys. You know, Tom and, and his staff to be able to pull that off was fantastic. I think he's a – I've seen him play for a number of years, and he's obviously a very good center. So he brings to a lot to the table from that standpoint. I think that one of the things last year that was really good was I felt like we developed a little bit of a chemistry with that group, that lineman. The mentality of that group was, was a lot different, and that paid off for us later in the year. And I think that – in just a little bit of time I've been around Mike, he has that same mentality. He'll fit in good with that group, and um, it makes us even better. And that's all you can ask for. Well, I think Philip does a lot of things, and he always has. And Mike came in here and said that he wants to be involved with that. And I think that, uh, you know, that's a good mentality for him. Um, you know, I think the communication between those two is very important. And it, and I think Mike's been doing it. He's very good at what he does from a standpoint of how he plays the game. Um, the communication between those two would be good, and you know, hopefully that can only make us better. Well, I think that's what we got to we got to work to find out. That's that becomes his job now. I have a lot of respect for Spencer and how what he did for us last year. Last half of the season, he was banged up and. He fought his way through it and did a good job. So it's good to have a player like that that you know you can count on, that can do it, that the, that the quarterback's comfortable with if, if he has to go in there at center. But, um, you know, for Spencer, even for his own personal part of his career, just to be able to do that would make him a lot more valuable. Ken, you've been around a, a lot of great football players. What, what made Antonio Gates special? Well, you know, when you, you're talking about one of the best players ever in this game, especially at that position, and uh, – I just have so much respect with how Antonio carried himself. He was so approachable by anybody. You know, he was a, a tremendous player, very gifted physically, but he was really a good leader. I think I had a, a lot of respect for how he handled our young guys, even, um, you know, the way he interacted with Hunter when Hunter came in as a, first, as a second round pick. And even the way you see him mentor Keenan, some of the other players, he's always had tremendous leadership and he's always been so approachable just from the standpoint of even talking about techniques or how you want certain routes run. So when you combine that with the physical talent and the production that he has, you know, it makes for one of the greatest players of all time. What did you guys see in Hunter that, that made you, you know, convinced that he was ready for a, a bigger role? Well, Hunter's worked very hard to improve at this game, and he's made a lot of plays for us. You see a young player that's developing. I know his relationship with Antonio was important, but um, you got a good young player there that's growing in this league. So, you know, it wasn't as much about anything about what Hunter did or, or even what Antonio is. That's just, just just the way it went in the league. I think Tom addressed that, and he did a good job with that. With 
Yeah, I would like to see that. I think that's important, and I think he has that. You know, uh, um, he definitely has the respect because of how he's played, and uh, you know, the, but it's not always easy to step into that role of being a little bit more vocal, of, of talking to guys, and when you carry as much respect as a young player as Hunter does and has been as productive, you know, that's a big part of, of that team concept and being a part of that. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing him do some of that. And you guys got skill position guys in the sixth and the seventh round. Uh, what do you like about those guys? Um, do you see either of those guys contributing? Well, they'll get a chance to. I mean, the receiver, Dylan, we got in the sixth round. He's a big guy. I think the thing that stands out about him is his quickness. And, and you know, he's got very good ball skills. We'll see what, uh, how he can fit in. Hopefully, he'll be able to do a couple of different things for us, and we'll see how he progresses. But, you know, they're young players. We don't know until we actually get them in here and see how they can handle that. But very productive. I think the thing that stands out is over the course of his career, he got better every year, and he's growing. The running back is uh, a very versatile guy, and uh, I'll be interested to see how he fits in. You know, that's an area that we've got Melvin and we've got Austin and uh, we're looking to find a young guy that can come in here and help contribute in that area. So I'm really excited about both those picks. Speaking of young guys, was there any um, practice on that as a young guy, as one of the future guys that are coming out here that are maybe caught your eye a little bit? Well, you know, we haven't been able to do a whole lot with them yet, Eric, to, to be able to tell that. I think in a couple of weeks when, we, uh, when we're able to go against the defense and, and the OTAs is where you'll see it. I mean, they – from what little I've seen, from being able just to look out the window and see them on the field running the routes and doing their own things, it, you know, I, I've been impressed. And I think a lot of that is because the guys that they've been working with, you know, the Keenans, the, the veteran guys that have been in here and working hard, you know, I think it rubs off on those guys, how they approach the game and how they work. And that's an important part of it. So I'm excited to see that. Well, I mean, obviously we like Sean because he was here and made our team last year, and he played in that first game, and that was for a rookie, for an undrafted rookie to play in the first game, that was a tall order. But, And, and I think the same thing with, with uh, Bowman. Over the course of the year, even though they weren't playing in the practice squad, they worked hard and they got better, and that's what you want. That's such a hard position to find guys and to develop guys there that when you find somebody that gets better in practice and is showing up, you know, against our defense and some of those look team things, you get excited about that. Now the next step for them is, can they do it in our offensive scheme? Can they show up and, and be that, make those kind of plays, you know, not when it's against the defense in practice when we're really competing against our guys. Yeah, you know, I tell you what, it was really nice to see the the evolution of our offense over the course of the year. And at the end of the year, I think we were playing we were playing as good as anybody in the league offensively. Um, you know, but but that doesn't it never carry it never carry it carries over. You know, you always start over. I think the thing for us is I believe that our our team, our guys believe they can get there. We just have to get there quicker than what we did last year. You know, it was over the last eight games, we were the best offense in the league statistically in a bunch of categories. But that doesn't mean anything right now. It just means that, you know, if we work hard and we get lucky, maybe we can get back there and hopefully it won't take us um, as many games as it did this year. Do you think any of that in the first eight weeks was kind of you trying to find your stride with Anthony and figuring out exactly what kind of offense that was going to be? Well, you know, there was a lot of a lot of things going on besides just me and Anthony, but from a new facility to a training camp down the road on the field and a hotel, there was a lot of things going on. And, um, you know, some of it was that. I think it's always the case whenever there's change and you gotta, you got to um, get on the same page. And, um, you know, obviously I felt like we, we grew and got better as a group and it worked pretty good for us at the end. <laughs> well... Well, yeah, you know, that's not really my area to, to comment on, but uh, hopefully, we, ho hopefully, we can, uh, hopefully we can get down there and get a lot of opportunities. But, you know, it would be better if we could have them kicking extra points instead of field goals. What did you do for fun in the I worked. I came in here and worked, worked, worked. Um, you know, we had a little bit of time off, which was good, and I can't think of anything really uh, that I did that was notable of fun. Hopefully uh, have some fun this spring beating up on Gus.
Uh, yeah, I did. I got back to Georgia a little bit. It was, uh, it's good. You got it. No problem. For the record.